Hey guys, today we are going to be working on Module 7, Project A. So I'm going to go ahead and get started by downloading our files. Alright. I'm going to hit download all. Please remember, I do have instructions in our classroom with the books. If you're in the book, we're on page 179 for Project A. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my start file. So first things first is we always have to save our file. So we go to File, Save As, Browse, Student Drive, IBCA Folder, and change the 1 to a 2. And again, double check your document title to ensure that you see this updated to here to know it's saved properly. So let's go ahead and get started. Step one, one of your deputies as a customer relationship officer, officer is to create issues of the quarterly newsletter, which is emailed to bank customers. You are updating a newsletter with a new name template and other graphical elements. Convert the text Cronus Bank Notes at the top of the page to word art using the feel white outline tan accent color five shadow option in the word art gallery. So I'm going to highlight Cronus bank notes. I'm going to go to the insert tab all the way over here to the text group and go to word art. And I need to find it's the feel outline tan accent color five shadow. So in the first row, the fourth one over. All right, and it's gonna insert itself like this. So moving on to step two, format the word art shape as follows so that it fills the space at the top of the newsletter. 2A, change the text wrapping to top and bottom. So two ways to do this is this little icon to the right. You can use the top and bottom um, here, or you can also in the drawing tools format tab in the arrange group, go to wrap text top and bottom. So they're both the same thing. All right. See, when I clicked it there, it selected it. So uh, 2B is resize the word art to a height of one and a width of seven. So in the size group, the height will be one and the width will be seven. So now it's the entire length of our page. Of our newsletter. Step three, format the word art text as follows to draw attention to the nameplate. 3A says change the font to Californian FB. So I'm going to select all the way through the text. You can use your little mini toolbar here to select it or go to the home tab font group and go select it from here. Um, I have way more fonts than you guys but it's here. You can also type it in if you want it to do the shortcut. 3B says to change the font size to 48 point. So I'm going to go down to 48. 3C says change the text feel by applying the medium gradient accent 4 preset gradient fill color. I know that's a lot of words. Okay, so we are going to have to go to the drawing tools format tab. And in the Word Art Styles group, we're going to go to Text Fill. And we're going to go to Gradient. And then we're going to have to go to More Gradient to get it specified exactly what they want. So we, we know again that we want a Gradient Fill. So I'm going to select Text Fill, Gradient Fill. And right here where it says Preset Gradients, I'm going to click the menu down and find the Medium Gradient Accent 4, which is in the fourth column, the third row. So one two, three, medium gradient accent four. So this is definitely quite a few steps to get here. Uh, so we know again that it was, we're still doing, we're still applying stuff to the word art. So we had to be in the, wor the word art um, group. We're applying, it tells us specifically text feel. So we went to text feel, gradient. And then when you couldn't find it here, right? Because at first it was gray. Then the only other option was to go and seek more. Okay, so just don't forget that you always have the option to go to more and then you would come here and you can really start to play around with all this. We're not doing that in this module, but just to say you could. 
And then 3D says apply the square text effect from the warp section of the transform gallery. So here we go, word art styles group, text effects. It tells us in the transform gallery under warp, we're applying square, which is the first one. So remember guys, the directions are telling you exactly where to go. You just have to make sure you're reading it carefully. Moving on now to step four is to insert a continuous section break at the beginning of the first body paragraph that starts with according to the annual and ends with it is its credit credit worthiness to prepare for setting the article text into columns. So in the beginning of the first body paragraph, I'm going to put my insertion point before the A. And then to insert a section break, we're going to go to the layout tab. In the page setup group, we're going to go to breaks and go to continuous. Again, it says continuous section break. So here is section breaks, continuous. The only way that you can see these section breaks applied is if you have your show hide button on. So in the home tab in the paragraph group, here's your show hide button, right? If I turn it off, you can no longer see it. When I turn it on, you can. These are called your formatting marks and your show hide button turns your formatting marks on and off. Moving on to step five, apply a newsletter format to the article text as follows. 5A, format the article text beginning according to the annual and ending with require e-commerce customers to sign in so that it is displayed in three columns. And then it says change the column width to 2.2. So let's go ahead and select all the way through. Um, here. All right. And then we're um, changing it into columns. So in the layout tab, we're going to go to the page setup group and go to columns. And because it wants us to not only apply three columns, but also change the width, instead of having to go back twice, I'm just automatically going to go here to more columns. And from here, I'll select three. And the column width, I'm going to change right here to 2.2. So that way I knock it all out in one step. And apply to selected text. So that's done. Okay. Moving on now to step six. To include a professional typeface element, add a drop cap as follows. 6A, format the first letter in the article, the A in according as a drop cap using the drop style. So we're gonna scroll up in the first paragraph. I'm gonna select just the A on according. In the insert tab, I'm gonna to go to the text group and go to drop cap. And we're gonna do dropped because it tells us a dropped style. This is the dropped style. And then it asks um, in 6B to change the font color of the drop cap to tan accent for darker 25%. So I'm gonna to go to the home tab in the font group, I'm going to go to the font color button. And we're doing tan accent four, darker 25%. So right here, it's kind of like a reddish color more than tan in my opinion, but there you go. Seven is complete the smart art in column two by using by I'm sorry by inserting the picture support character in the picture placeholder for the character shape. So right here, we're gonna click right there, right? Make sure you see it. This is your little icon to click the picture from a file. We're gonna have to go down to our downloads and here and then go into Cengage once again and you have to go back to your student drive, your IBCA folder and find your 7A project and submit it. Let's review our graded summary report really quickly. We got 100 out of 100, so we are good to go. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or come see me during class. Have a wonderful day.